What is up guys? Welcome to Supercars of London. This road <laughs> is unbelievable. I've never seen anything like it. There are bikes everywhere and also some pretty awesome supercars driving around. But today, with this perfect weather, how am I supposed to do an intro like this? We are about 24 hours away from that car going to over 600 brake horsepower. It is currently running 467. It is completely stocked with the Brook Race exhaust in Canal exhaust system installed. However, if you go back to when I collected the car, one of my main intentions was to tune it above and beyond what the C63S gave you, which is around 503 brake horsepower, 510 PS. He was dropping a knee. So I always had the intention that I was going to tune the car. However, my first three months of ownership has been based in the UK in the worst weather. I believe that it's arguably, it is arguably the worst winter we've ever had of rain, snow and ice, meaning I've never been able to get the power down. It has only been on this trip when I've been able to experience what it is like with traction. I was questioning whether I needed the tune altogether, but when the weather is this good and the tarmac is this smooth, this could do with a little bit more power. What we're going to do is do a bit of a before drive, show you what it is like, what the experience is like when you floor it, and then fast forward 24 hours until the installation and the dyno run has been done, which you would have already watched, and then I'm going to do my reaction of driving this car for the first time with over 600 brake horsepower. So, now that the roads are quite clear, let's go for a hoon. <laughs> Being out here and being on the road, on this road trip with the weather how it is, I'm just like, oh my God, I need as much power as I can get out of this car. I'm considering the turbo upgrades, but right now we are 24 hours out of a race chip tune upgrade, which you would have already watched the video, so you know everything about what has happened to this car already, but as I'm filming this, I don't. I can put my foot down in low gears and get all of the power. 467 brake horsepower is a lot and when you put it through this gearbox as well it just is such a delight but when you get third through fourth and you start really pushing on the car starts to calm down a little bit it starts to just sort of ease off and you feel like if this had a little bit more power it would be even more of a crazy hoop. So, oh, that downshift was good. I lit. Oh, I've never been able to do that since owning this car. It has only been on this road trip. Look at the road. Even uphill, this car pulls pretty damn well. But. We're now definitely going in the wrong direction for race chip, so I'm gonna do a U-turn. Let's head to race chip, and let's fast forward to the moment that I jump in. This car 
haven't got the race trip treatment. It is safe to say that that was the most challenging drive I have ever done in the C63. From race chip to here, the challenging element of it was I had the race chip in efficiency and I was in comfort mode and I did not give it more than 5% throttle because what is about to happen is myself and Alex are gonna jump in that car. We have experienced it on full chat, completely stock. So we are the best people to jump back into this car and experience it for the first proper time since the race chip expert has done his tests on the car to experience it full flat out in race mode. So Alex, are you ready? Because I, <laughs> I can't wait anymore. <laughs> Let's get going with the C63 with the race chip installed. turbos like the turbo kick in is much more aggressive oh my god it's that, so much you know, what, you know what i've just realized what? i'm in efficiency mode i'm gonna have to pull over and put it in race mate but that did feel quicker <laughs> it did feel quick yeah it's gonna be quicker but it's still in a mode that's trying to save fuel <laughs> it was as it got to like the top of third it just gave that extra little bootage and it broke traction like in the most perfect conditions through first gear it broke traction check it out look boom boom so now this will just max out the full potential not going for it yet because i know i've got dust on the tires and i want perfect conditions So the one big difference that I've noticed almost immediately is on upshifts, when it was stock, it used to kind of die off on yes. every upshift. You kind of just felt like it was losing a little bit. Yeah. And it was like, oh, like, that's enough, like I'm calming down now. But this just continues yeah. to pull. Like you sort of bang it up and it's already there. Like the torque is there. I think that's the biggest thing that I've noticed. It feels like the there's a lot more at the top end. Yeah. speed <laughs> it's so much quicker oh my god <laughs> Let off like it's aggressive. Oh, the torque deliveries, it's definitely. Makes the gearbox <sighs> feel snappier as well. It was never a slow gearbox in here. This is this is a this is a train. I'm getting a very similar experience to some really, really fast supercars. When you put your foot down, the tarmac just disappears yeah. in front of you. That I didn't feel like I had when it was completely stock. Oh, there's literally no one on this road now. Oh man. <laughs> I actually just had to look at the speed there. <laughs> this is 
seriously quick. There's not been any let off so far in the power. No, 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 no. And that was up to fifth. <laughs> <laughs> This doesn't stop. This car does not stop anymore. Oh, we've got a monster, guys! <laughs> Jesus Christ! Wow. Just, just wow. <laughs> I don't really know what else to say. Like, in the wet, this car's gonna be totally useless! <laughs> a call to mission as soon as winter comes. Need no, winter. no, it's just gonna be a drift machine now. Like, I can, I'll be able to go round roundabouts in third gear and the low end torque just means that I'll just, I won't have to get up high into the revs. That's the best thing about it. There you go, turning a negative into a positive. Let's get back, let's edit these videos because, oh my God, they're absolutely crazy. What an amazing day with Race Chip, and I just want to thank them for their time, their expertise, and for just sort of believing in me and my car of a wicked little project. And the C63 is now the monster uh, within in terms of how much power that this carries. And this car has got so much more power than what my Hurricane had. Oh God! Like yeah. how stupid is that? Right, guys, thank you for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe and comment if you want to see more content, what content you want to see on the C63. Um, oh my God, I'm running low on fuel. Maybe back to efficiency mode. <laughs> <laughs> I will see you tomorrow as we head from Stuttgart back to London because the next plan is already in action and I need to jump on a plane. So I'll see you soon, guys. Take care. Goodbye. I can't reach. <laughs>